Hi, this is Dee with Divine Needle. Happy 2021. And happy birthday to the Capricorns. We're into the first new year of the age of Aquarius. <sighs> right? <laughs> you know what's interesting? As I found somebody else that knows about the virus. And I'm not talking about COVID. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Anyway. <clears throat> it is a gloomy, overcast day. Winter storm went through. And I've been sitting here this morning drinking coffee. Watching rather large limbs go, I'll be sitting here and all of a sudden you'll hear a crack, and then BAM! <laughs> we had a winter storm go through here last night. <clears throat> and now the elm tree that was scheduled to be taken down back on the 15th of December in the backyard is shedding rather large limbs in the backyard and the reason i wanted this tree down is it, it's in the process of being on its way out and it's already taken out the power line once this last spring <clears throat> and had to have that um fixed but um it's in a very dangerous spot as far as the house goes and the tree trimmers have not been here yet to take the tree down. They were supposed to trim up some of the other trees too that are here while they were at it and take the stump out. But now I have a yard of rather large limbs dropping um, and it's full. So it's been an interesting morning of crack, bam, crack, bam. <laughs> Yeah, winter storms and the ice, the natural Mother Nature's way of taking the trash out. <laughs> so, yeah, it feels very much like, this winter storm feels very much like part of the mission, uh, how I can describe the mission. Um, shedding the old dead paradigm for the new age of Aquarius. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I was called to do this deck today. Um, so far, none of the others are jumping out at me. We'll have to see. I'm going to go ahead and get a card. So we're on day 12. And it is the first of January 2021. Interesting numbers and interesting um, the holodeck, the programming, the matrix, and the numbers of the calendar and such. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> Those are down here on missions. <sighs> All right. Day 12. Again, close encounters. 
It's interesting because I did have that's on the bottom of the deck. That's what we got yesterday. Um, I did have some interesting things happen yesterday. Knocking was happening yesterday around the house and um, nobody there. We've had that happen in the past, Nell and I, and it's happened during streams and um, sounding like somebody's knocking at the door. Um, what's interesting is uh, when it happened, I went to go see and Artemis was on the front porch wanting to come inside. So <clears throat> perhaps my friends let me know she's waiting. <laughs> anyway, and um, yeah, close encounters. Um, I had a couple of visions yesterday. One was of a gold field. Um, and that was just a momentary thing. And then another um, deal that was black and white, it was me staring down into a puddle and seeing the ripples of the water. And, or what looked like ripples. And then I realized it was trees behind me reflecting into the water. And I could see my face staring back at me. And it wasn't precisely the face I have now. My higher self looking back at me. That's an interesting thing to have happen. That is a paranormal experience. Very interesting. And it happened several times. And I was like, wow, that's just very trippy. Anyway, awakening genius. You know, part of the prophecy about the age of Aquarius is about the divine higher genius, right? The architect. And, uh, yeah, like I talk about on the other channel, Sleeping Beauties awake and everybody else is waking up. When she wakes up, the kingdom awakens. So, awakening genius. Interesting, 209 on that card. Is an 11. Don't fear the 11s. The great genius, the great architect is Aquarius. <laughs> the 11th house. Twins. Don't fear the 11s, folks. They're here to help march us into this new age. So the aquas are very instrumental in that. All the sun signs matter, every one of them, for different reasons. Their jobs are all different. But the main mission's the same. All right. Phew. Ooh. Just got the chills. I had that happen. I don't, I'm not sure that it was yesterday. I think it was the day before yesterday. I was laying in bed and all of a sudden I felt the cold tingles on me. I'm like, okay, Gabriel, and I, which one is it? <laughs> which one of you is in here right now? Because I knew it wasn't anything else because the energy that I was feeling. But yeah, it was kind of interesting. So a lot of um, close encounters. <laughs> Overall energy. Overall energy. And the kittery, cattery is in full swing right now. A bunch of ornery kittens. Having a good time this morning. Totally clueless, besides Artemis. She knows about the trees falling because she immediately went to the front yard instead of catting around the backyard. <laughs> Smart kitty. Ah, so, noise in the background from the three kittens that lost their mittens, the three boys. <coughs> Interesting, because the world card is one female and three boys, what it represents. The archangels, right? <laughs> yeah, 
synchronicity. Whew, overall energy for day 12. Overall energy for day 12. By the way, overall energy making a decision, it would appear. By the way, not only Happy New Year, but TGIF. <laughs> oh, and it feels more like a Monday than a Friday because of what's going on in my backyard. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> the discerning one to scepters. What's our highest priority today? All these people on missions. What's our highest priority today? Okay. Another two. An Archangel of Mysteries. None other than the Earth Goddess. Okay. And what do we need to be mindful of and or prepare for? That was very quick. Intuition and stronghold of the flame. Um, those were in the reading yesterday as well. All right. <clears throat> Underlying Irie Shield, Queen of Chalices. Let's see, I'm going to move that card over here. Okay. There we go. Peaking. Yep. It's about our foundations. This is all about the foundations. <sighs> all right. Underlying the ivory shield. Queen of Chalices. You are shielded against ailments, disease, and infirmity. Malefic energies that can cause malady or emotional afflictions are present in your space, challenging your vitality. And so the ivory shield appears in your path to help you preserve your own wellness. Ascribe, inscribed around the queen's shield, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Her shield features the Muzidi, a West African symbol of purification and protection. When the queen of chalices appears, you may be experiencing a dark night of your own soul, an alchemical darkening stage of your life path, and she is here to give you shelter, to accompany you by your side as you make your way out of danger. Interesting, because the danger I've got currently is a tree landing on my office right here while I'm doing the reading. So, and three kittens that are getting ready to get in trouble with mommy. <laughs> she is your defender as you walk through the Valley of Shadows. Know that she is present. Know that you are not alone in your dark hour. A female ancestor, one from your maternal lineage, can appear to you through the Arbor Shield. <laughs> This could be an actual person <clears throat> or possible danger, and I'm definitely having that here. So many of you are probably uh, having issues from that winter storm that went through last night <sighs> through the midsection of the country or other things happening around you that are danger or ailments of some sort. All right, the discerning one, two of scepters. Whew. Determine your boundaries and define the scope of your dominion. This is the moment for you to map out your ambition. Exercise discernment before you proceed any further on this path you've chosen. Look out to the horizon and discern whether this is the sea you want to embark from. Decide, do you want a kingdom or do you want an empire? <sighs> Decision point. For some of you, it might be a smaller decision. For some of you, it might be huge. Huh. 
possibility. Anyway, in other decks, this is, you notice how there's a hand on the staff. It means a decision's been made. And it's not about just a tiny kingdom. It's about the empire, the planet Earth. Highest priority, another two, the Nocturne, doubling down, working harder than anybody else. Work harder and double down, shoulder more commitments and steer your ship through the rough tides. Carpe Noctum, work at your dreams late into the night, harder than everybody else, and the gods will reward you for your dedication. The Nocturne is balancing change after a dark night of the soul. It appears good tidings because... Or it bears good tidings because this is the spirit of commerce, enterprise, and far-reaching new ventures after past failures and disappointments. Forming <sighs> past suffering sires, future opportunity. <sighs> Juggling and maintaining the rough seas, right, of this decision. And the Earth Goddess herself, Archangel of Mysteries, appears on the bottom. Angel who illuminates the shadow. This is the King of Scepters. Or no, King of Orbs, I'm sorry. I got the wrong one. <laughs> the King of Orbs is the Archangel of Mysteries. Another one of her many names is the Archangel of Revelations. Mm-hmm. She's in there, just covered up a, 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 a hair or two. <laughs> and yes, I'm understating that. She is a beneficent guide connected to the underworld, one authorized to act as an intermediary and mediator between the angelic realms still subservient to the divine and the realm of the fallen angels. She can also traverse through all the lower realms to guide lost souls. The Archangel of Mysteries appears now because these qualities and powers of protection of hers are needed by you. So a lot of protection going on with that Queen of Chalices and this Archangel of Mysteries, King of Earth. The King of Orbs illuminates the darkness for you who are about to traverse the realms of shadow. You are about to uncover great mysteries. This is the Archangel who protects you against all forms of darkness along your initiatory path of discovery. The King of Orbs is a great provider. You too are a great provider to others. With her lantern, the Archangel of Mysteries illuminates crossroads. She is a great master of spells and incantations. The ear's corn symbolize the seeds of spiritual enlightenment through the erudite study of esoteric practices. You manifest your material abundance through spiritual abundance. Yes, the king-queen who doesn't want a throne or to rule. Because to her, it's about your spirituality and definitely not about religion. to be mindful of, prepare for. High Priestess, Key 2, Major Arcana, Sanctuary of Isis. This is Sophia, or Wisdom Personified. She guides you toward the deepening and broadening of your knowledge. Aspire for scholarship to wield the power of discernment. The Priestess is the Queen of the Angels. When the Priestess appears to you, she instructs on the cultivation of your wisdom and intuition. The summation of the choices you have made and the landscape of thoughts you have painted for yourself have taken you to the threshold of a particular path. And now is the time to venture deeper, farther. Here is the wellspring of magic. The path you picked, right here, your hands on the staff. You got the world in your hand and you picked You've mapped out your plan, or most of it. Whew. 
Stronghold of the Flame, Herald of the Awakening. That is a page of scepters. The Stronghold of the Flame comes bearing an important message to you or an opportunity about career matters, schooling, creative or artistic endeavors, employment or passion projects. The Page of Scepters appears as affirmation of a coming adventure, a quest that will be presented to you. Your creativity and ingenuity will be the deciding factors on how you navigate that quest. And remember, this is the strategist of the pages. The presence of the Stronghold of the Flame can also be an emissary sent by a solar deity, a divinity of fires, of agriculture, or artisans, or a pantheon from the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, we picked our path. We know where we're going. We've mapped it out. We're still juggling um, the, the smaller details of everything. But those details do matter. We must use our intuition and strategize to get the plan going. It is about the awakening genius inside you. Your spark of divinity that came from none other than the one represented on these two cards. The queen of the angels. And when she's incarnate, she is the Earth Goddess. And she does love you beyond all comprehension. For sure. <laughs> Grand new things this coming year. A big year of change. So, grab your organic popcorn. Dream big, don't act small. Dream those dreams into reality. You guys know precisely what I mean by that. The beautiful age of Aquarius and people living together in, like the card yesterday said, perfect harmony. <laughs> Take care. Have a grand day. <laughs>